Well, statement coming in from the markers, the organizers of that religious gathering. They say that compliance was immediately followed on 22nd and 24th. Uh, there was compliance on central government orders. On 23rd March, they had evacuated 1,500 people who were inside the markers building. However, around 1,000 remained trapped because of certain uh, restrictions on travel as trains were cancelled. The Marcus has now, Marcus Authority has now said that several people remain stranded because they could not travel back. They had asked for special passes for, tra for travel of these uh, people who had come from outside Delhi. However, those also could not be issued, which is why so many people remain stranded. That's the statement coming from the Marcus Authority of the Nizamuddin Darga. Alok is with us now with more information. So Alok, this is something that we were discussing just a short while ago that the authorities of this Markaz Masjid is being extremely defensive saying that once the lockdown orders came in place then there was strict compliance and this is an event that happened before that. But let's not forget the Delhi government had issued directives to maintain social distancing and it had banned public gatherings and religious gatherings. Why did the Markaz Authority not pay heed to the Delhi government orders. Why were those orders flouted? Yes, certainly. In fact, that is what we are questioning about. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, what if, if, you, if you go by the statement uh, which is released by the uh, Marcus Authority, they say that on 23rd, uh, 22nd uh, was the first lockdown and they started complying it. And on this, uh, on 23rd, immediately uh, by the evening, they started evacuation, evacuating process. And on and 23rd of night, they already evacuated uh, 1,500 persons. But uh, by the time uh, they uh, they could have evacuated more persons already, uh, another lockdown, uh, in fact, uh, announced by the uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it uh, imposed uh, since uh, in the midnight. So uh, 1,000 persons remain trapped. So that's 1,000 persons are now being, in fact, uh, being sent for the quarantization process. Uh, this is what their statement is. And in fact, they say that at the same time, the Delhi police had also sent uh, two notices to them, despite that they were following the central government's orders uh, at that point in time. Uh, but if we, if we talk about Delhi government orders, uh, uh, that in fact uh, imposed, implemented on 16th of March. And in that government order, Delhi government had said that no uh, gathering more than 20 persons will be allowed. And despite that, 2,500 persons were present at that point in time. If we, if we go by the figures uh, which they have released in their statement, that more than 25 persons, uh, 2,500 persons were present in the building till 22nd of March. So that or uh, that really raises question, and that right. real, that really tells us the alarming and scary situation. Back to you. Quarantine protocols were violated. There is no doubt about it. There was no uh, reason why such a large gathering should have happened at a time like this, when the entire world was talking about maintaining social distancing. This particular Marcus Authority violated those norms. So, Alok, stay with us. I want to uh, listen into that conversation and play it out for our viewers. The one you had with Dr. Mohammad Shoaib, the spokesperson of the Nizamuddin Marcus. Let's listen in to what they have to say in their defense. doorstep cover Nizamuddin Basti or Nizamuddin West. It's just in colonies that don't know the No, these these details I don't have. We are just supplementing their efforts. Yes, yeah, sanitizing. Yes, 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 sanitizing. Yes,